The remit for it really is to uh, bring a kind of sense of shared cultural values uh, for students to come to Glasgow and trade ideas uh, with students here uh, in the course, on the course here in, in Glasgow, and to facilitate, uh, you know, a more exper experimental learning. That was more free, more less intense, you know, without all the mathematics and all, it's like your brain can start thinking, we have a free flow of ideas and such. Change our perspective somewhat, because um, coming here for three weeks actually changed the way I approach projects, as in to see things differently, to talk to people who actually have different perspectives from, from me. And so for in Singapore, you know, I've been there for my whole life, so um, I have been like kind of trapped in a shell. So by actually going abroad, it actually opens my horizons. It just brings an energy um, and it brings a, a kind of vibrancy to the studio environment, which we were quite keen to develop. We wanted lots of activity, lots of the things going on. Uh, we wanted lots of thinking, uh, lots of making, uh, and lots of comings and goings. We've um, set them tasks to go to the libraries, um, speak to local people, record this in any way that they choose to. So we, we were kind of just trying to make it a very open and flexible experience of doing some research and coming up with some ideas that maybe they wouldn't have normally come up with. Vandalism and gra the graffiti here, I love it. It's like a hidden culture and identity in Glasgow, which I think without them, Glasgow would be a whole different city. We're not sure really how they're going to take the city. They seem to have embraced it really well. And we're already starting to see some interesting cult, uh, expression of uh, cultural differences. So far, I'm having so much fun in Glasgow because the food portions are like huge as compared to Singapore. It's like, oh, so good. <laughs> but, uh, they've, they seem to be very, they've become very comfortable and uh, Glasgow is a very friendly city, so we've always got that to our advantage. <laughs> the weather is good, people are really, really friendly. Actually, um, previously I thought Glasgow is like one of the scariest country, but well, I guess not. I think the people here are super friendly, especially at um, um, when you go shopping where, or wherever. So, and you feel very safe here as well, so that's what I love about Glasgow. <laughs> Around the main project, we've developed uh, a series of uh, workshops uh, where former graduates from the School of Art are coming in. This was just an opportunity for the students to realise what the British and Scottish industry is currently like um, and an opportunity to just meet and ask questions to working designers. Um, and hopefully be inspired by what they do currently all over the world. And, uh, the students will be uh, working as a group to produce uh, one cohesive uh, piece of uh, communication uh, and they will be asked to present that in an exhibition uh, at the end of the programme, at the end of the three weeks. We will be concluding the project with um, a presentation of everyone's work. Uh, the students are expected to provide um, some visuals, models, a sketchbook and then present their um, idea of what they want this site to be like. Um, it's quite a fast paced project so we were very keen for the students to um, present quite conceptual design ideas. This the staff will be there to facilitate it. I want them to put the show on and for it for really to be their event. And it's what they make of it. Um, but, uh, so we'll, we'll invite lots of guests and get a bit of buzz going. And it'll just be a nice, again, uh, a nice sign-off for their, their trip here. One, two, three. Oh my god. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
landing on the right.